Good evening, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you again. Uh, my name is Prasad. I'm a trainer, speaker, and a coach. So I'm excited meeting you again today. Uh, today is our day four. Uh, this is a part of a 30-day brain mastery program. Uh, the last four days, uh, we learned about the first day, we learned about the strangest secrets. Day two, we learned about goal setting. Uh, yesterday, we uh, learned about rebooting your brain. And today, we're going to learn about how to have your ultimate life. So this is a 10-minute session. So uh, after every session, I'm giving uh, a small activity. So I hope uh, you guys are doing that activity. Uh, I, I would encourage you to do it for the next 30 days. Follow it earnestly, and I promise that this will help you a lot. Yeah. So, um, and if you're somebody new, uh, I request you to go to the YouTube and uh, uh, watch uh, all the videos from day one till yesterday. And if you are a returning uh, participant, thank you for showing up again. I'm excited. I'm happy you're uh, uh, coming again, you're visiting. Uh, to hear from me uh, that tells me that you're keen towards change you're keen towards transforming your life yeah so let's start today's session without further delay so we're going to learn about how to have your ultimate life today and my name is prasad again <laughs> my name is prasad ganiraj and i'm your friend i'm going to help you today all right are you ready so, I'm going to tell you a story which, you know, uh, not many of us know about uh, Albert Einstein. So, this is a, a little known fact about Albert Einstein. Uh, he attended a school that followed the teaching method of the Swiss educator, Johann Pestalozzi. Right, the person who see on the right side. Uh, that is the picture of Johann Pestalozzi. Yeah, he's a Swiss educator. Now, Albert Einstein studied in a school which followed that method. So Pestalozzi taught children in what was known as Pestalozzi method or it's called the method. That's so we have different method of uh, education system, right? We have this matriculation, CBSC, uh, we have this Cambridge, you know, International Board, whatever. Yep. Now, Einstein was educated as a child in the method or Pestalozzi method. Okay. Now, this method, right? The method which Pestalozzi taught kids was based on visualization let me repeat it it was based on visualization and that is what helped einstein to become what he was yeah at the age of 16 einstein used visualization when he discovered that the speed of light was always a constant can you can you can you can you imagine this now at the age of 16 what was i doing oh my god what were you doing yeah by the age of 16 einstein used this method the visualization method to discover that the speed of light was always a constant how many of you used what you learned at school in your life? I don't remember using anything which I learned at school. Yeah, maybe at least English I'm using, right? But <laughs> Einstein was educated in Pestalozzi method or the method which taught children to visualize or learn through visualization. And at the age of 16, Einstein discovered the speed of light was always a constant yep now einstein said imagination 
is more important than knowledge. Why? Can, can you believe it? The greatest scientist in the world is saying imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited. True. Whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress and giving birth to evolution. Right? Now, why did I say this? Let's, let's decode this. Yeah? What is the difference between imagination and visualization? Right? What is the difference between imagination and visualization? When you imagine, you are creating film in your mind. A series of picture, story, which has no purpose. That's what is imagination. Imagination is like a movie. It's like a film in your mind. It just wants. Okay? You think through a lot of things. But it has no purpose. You imagine a lot of stuff. Whereas, visualization is also imagination. Okay? With a purpose. Let me repeat it. Imagination is a film or a story or a movie in your mind without a purpose. But visualization is again imagination, okay, a movie, a story, a film in your mind with a purpose. Okay? Now, what does visualization help you to achieve? Visualization helps you create a plan, a goal. It helps you to see you achieving a goal, you overcoming a fear, you overcoming your addiction, you overcoming poverty, right? That is what is the power of visualization. It, it has a purpose to your imagination. Right? If you are having imagination with a purpose, then that is called as visualization. Otherwise, let me put it like this. Imagination is when you look at your life or the life you want in the third person's eye. Okay? You're imagining something right but yeah you're not looking it with your eyes you're looking at from the third person's eye that is what is imagination but visualization is looking at things through the eye of that person in your imagination okay confusing okay let me simplify it Okay, so visualization is you putting yourself in the imagination and you seeing things. Okay, let me, let me explain you this. A reporter once asked Einstein, he asked Einstein, how are you able to, you know, uh, come up with all these theories. Yeah. How are you able to, you know, uh, see, Einstein is called a theoretical scientist. Yeah, he just uses power of imagination and visualization, right? And he wrote theories. And other scientists made sure, yeah, or they wanted to disprove all his theories, and but when they, you know, uh, tested it, they, they proved it, okay? Yeah, so when somebody, someone asked him, you know, Einstein, how are you able to do this? How are you able to uh, come up with all these theories and the theories are all right? Okay, and this is what the answer Einstein gave. 
Einstein told that person, I want to see, all right, I want to see the world with the eye of God. I wanted to see the world or I tried to see the world with the eye of God. So when God created the world, so, you know, how or what did God saw? What did he see when he created the world? I wanted to see it and I put myself in God's place and I tried to see or visualize what or how things were looking or would be looking like when he created things. So I, you know, Einstein put himself in God's place, okay, right? Scientist, okay? He put himself in God's place, yeah, and he saw things, how it looked like. And that is how Einstein was able to visualize and he wrote his theories. Yeah. So visualization is that. You 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 want to be in a big house. Yeah. You put yourself in a big house. Yeah, you don't just imagine, but you imagine yourself inside a big house, not outside. Okay. You want to have a business. You visualize yourself, you see yourself running a business. Yep, that is what the visualization is. Now I want to tell you a real story, a real example, a person, a real person who did practice visualization in his life and succeeded. And that is this man, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold when he was young, he visualized himself being and having what it was he wanted. So he visualized what he wanted to become. Yeah. And he said, before he won his first Mr. Universe, he walked around the tournament like he won it already. He visualized that. He said, since I had won it so many times in my mind, there is no doubt I would win it in reality. So Arnold walked around the tournament area of no win uh, during this you no know, Mr. World. First is you no know, first is his first Mr. World. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Universe. He walked around like he won it already. And he has already seen it multiple times and he had no doubt about it. Not just that, he visualized also becoming a successful actor. He visualized having a lot of money. He visualized being rich and famous. He put himself in his imagination and he saw himself being Mr. Universe, Mr. Olympia, he saw himself becoming a rich man. He saw himself as a great actor. Yeah, that is what is visualization. You put, you putting yourself in the imagination, in the dream. Yeah, you don't see yourself in the third person's eye, but you see yourself and in the imagination you see the world right now are you ready for this activity we're going to close i'm going to close with this so the, la the activity for today is this yeah esther i told you spend at least 15 minutes thinking yeah now i'm telling you in that 15 minutes okay or, or take another 15 minutes right Take a piece of paper, you can take a chart or you can take an A4 sheet, whatever. Write down everything or visualize your life. Draw it, sketch it. Yeah, if you want, if you want to have, you know, an acre of land 
and you see yourself surrounded with mountains or rivers, right? You, you want to uh, have a live a life uh, in nature, surrounded by nature, right? What kind of life you want? Or you see yourself, you know, driving to office in your own car, or you see yourself, uh, you know, uh, being rich, right? Imagine that, visualize that, put that in drawing. Don't worry about how good you're in drawing. Draw that, put that in paper and if possible, frame it and put it in front of you where you can see. So take time, spend time visualizing, imagining, right? Because that is what will take you somewhere or anywhere. Your knowledge is limited. Your skills are limited. But your imagination is unlimited. It will take you anywhere you want to. But use your imagination with a purpose. Put a plan. Put a goal. Attach a purpose to your imagination. When you do that, right, you will have an ultimate life.